Yo, what's poppin' everybody? Hope you're having a super blessed day and welcome back to Sharp Sports. And you know what? I really do think that they're putting something in the water or food supply because today's player should not be as big as he is for how young he is. Today we are taking a look at hands down the biggest freshman in the entire country. Now technically he's a sophomore now because it's class of 2023, but we're gonna be watching part of his sophomore year highlights, part of his freshman year tape, but he was the same size as a freshman as well. Representing Southeast Polk High School in Des Moines, Iowa, we're taking a look at the best player in Iowa and the third best offensive tackle in the class of 2023, the 6'7", 280 pound offensive tackle, Caden Proctor. Now when you're that size, you simply are a man of amongst the boys. And do you want to know how you could be a man amongst boys? By hitting that like button and also subscribing to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, for the this intro, let's take a look at Caden's highlight tape and see simply how the biggest freshman in the country is looking like in the field. Three, two, one. Psh. All right, so let's take a look at and see what he's looking like now. So th these are his, so these are the first four weeks of his, uh, of his sophomore year tape, but clearly he's, uh, he's, they, we don't we don't have the the 2024 rankings yet. So right now he, he's just the biggest freshman in the country. I, I know y'all y'all can say whatever y'all want in the chat. He, he's still a freshman, at least in my eyes. He, he's, he's technically a sophomore, obviously, but as, as far as as far as the rankings go, that this is just the youngest class that we got. Also, oh, wait a, I see I see I see the foot the foot spacing. Yo yo, where are you going? Nope, lock him up and then just easy money. So one thing I'll say clearly, I, I've, I've never been an offensive tackle before, as you can see by my not very big frame. Um, just the one thing that I have seen that most coaches don't like is, especially with how long your reach is, and you're you're, I mean you're six seven, you're gonna have the reach advantage on ninety nine point nine percent of the guys that you go up against. Instead of like leading leading in and, and like trying to lean on the guy first, because if this guy was quicker, all he has to do is just hit that shoulder or, or knock one of these arms down, swim over top of you, and then he's in the backfield already. I mean, the play goes the play goes away from you, but you really want to make sure that you're getting you're getting hands on him first. So you just want to just like like how you did with, with in your in your pass rushing set, like make sure that you just you just stay strong and then you just boom, just just block the guy and get him up out of there. Especially especially when they're that far away, like. Or just wait for them to come to you just a little bit. Wait to get him about the play. But hey, I, I hey that that's that's just from what from my, what I see. Clearly, I've never played offensive line, so all my offensive linemen, be sure to comment down below what what comment down below. Wait to come pick up the block running back. Okay, comment down below what you what do you what do you think that um, my guy Caden Proctor can improve on? Because you guys got to remember, he's only a sophomore. Like he has so much time to improve. And he's still he's still learning how to. I mean, when you're that big at that young, it, you're just learning how to be comfortable in your own body. Go pick up the second level. Let's go. He also moves very well for his size. Also, real quick, I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of top offensive tackles rock the number seventy four. Is, is seventy four the the drip number for offensive linemen? I think I I think I'd want to wear number seventy four if I was an offensive lineman. Seventy four or seventy two. If I was a tackle, those are the two numbers I, I'd want to wear. Or 73, 73 is kind of lit too. So basically 72 to 74. Yo, when he decides to wall guys off, it is just, you are not getting past them. Also comment down below, what, what's your high school number and what position do you play? I, I, want, I want to know. I, I was a wide receiver and I wore number eight in high school. See like on, on a play like this, like look at how goes, and he waits for the guy to get on him, but he gets his hands on him first and then drives him up out of the plate. That's more so what, what I'm looking for and, and not just like you just full out just trying to just get your hands on him as quickly as possible. You're just trying to get your body on him as quickly as possible because that sometimes when you're overly aggressive like that as an offensive tackle, that can lead to you be getting beat by more speed pass rushers. Yo, wait. First off, I give kudos to this kid because hey, he he came he came with it. He he packed his lunch pail today, but he but my my, my guy Caden packed a bigger one. He came through, gave him a nice pop, but then he just absorbed all that and then just re reset, got back into his frame, and then just locked him up. That was clean right there. Yo, 
Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're literally just you're, you're trying to get past a, a mountain. Like, like I would I would assume that probably between eighty to ninety percent of you guys haven't even seen someone who's six seven. Like, like I remember my RA was six eight, and he was the tallest dude I'd ever seen like on a consistent basis, bro. That's so tall. Like, <laughs> like I'm six three and I thought I was tall, man. Yo. When you six seven to eighty, you are giant. Again, I mean, yo, look at how he 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 moves well in the open field. Like, yo, when when you need him to be a, a downfield blocker, he really can. I mean, for him to be this athletic at his size, very very impressive. Where's he at? Where's he at? Yo, first off, this team has a lot of big offensive linemen because the fact that you can't find out who the 67280 kid is immediately lets you know that everybody else on the offensive line is probably between like 6'5. Looks like a couple of them are also in that 6'6, six, 6'7 six, six, range. And yo, again, he, he legit threw him. <laughs> he said, nope, get him off, get him out of here. Yeah, 77's big, 70, yo, this, this, yo, this quarterback, man, hey, this, this quarterback better be getting, giving all of them Big Macs or whatever food that they want after the game. I bet he, I bet this dude's jersey be clean every week. No, wait, <laughs> bro, like, when he crashes down, it's literally, he just blows the guy up. See again that this this is more so of what I'm looking for, where you guys are both meeting at a point of contact rather than trying to reach for him, and then you see how you're just gonna overpower him every single time. That is more so of what I would be looking for instead of you reaching trying to get early early contact on him. Because shoot, I mean, if I was a if, like I know it's something that receivers do. Like when you go up against really aggressive corners, all you gotta do is just take a back step, let them let them punch, and then you swipe their arms out of the way and then just run straight around them. If I was a DN and I knew that you were that aggressive on run plays, that's that's all I would do. I would just. Take a take a half step back, let you come forward, swim around you, and then go get after the quarterback. Again, just wall and homie all. Nope. Just just no like like he he tried he tried to he tried to get to the inside quickly and just it ain't happening. Well, that is what Caden Proctor, the biggest freshman slash sophomore in the country is looking like. To me, the thing that impresses me the most is obviously when, especially with offensive tackles, especially when you're in a state like, I mean, Iowa has some good football, but they're not a powerhouse state in football. I was expecting him to really just be the guy who just lazy technique, not super athletic, but because he's so big, guy just can't get around him. But no, his athleticism really surprised me. For, I mean, for him to be 15, 16 years old and able to move as well as he can in a 6, 7, 2, 80 frame, like that just lets me know that, hey, when when he when he adds on that extra 15 to 20 pounds to try and get up to 300 to when whenever he does end up going pro, he, he's going to be able to do it very easily. And he's still going to be able to move, be able to pull, be able to crash down like he's going to be able to do all that. The biggest thing I would say to be working on is just overall hand placement and uh, his pass and his pass sets. Cause those, those are just the two things where I didn't get to see a whole lot of them. But if he's able to really work on his hand placement and getting that punch really explosive, but also knowing when to punch, man, yo, Caden, I mean, you're already a top offensive tackle in the country. So it literally sky is the limit for you, my guy. All right, y'all, but I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Let's get this video to 700 likes for the biggest freshman in the country, Caden Proctor. Also, don't forget to comment down below any other players that y'all want me to check out, especially players in the 2022 or 2023 recruiting class. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you never miss any of the fire videos that we're dropping on the channel. But with all that being said, I love and appreciate each and every single last one of you guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.